to join the channel over here on Subscribestar. So Logan Paul in the upcoming Civil War. Let's have a little bit of a different take on the Logan Paul situation. So funding a YouTuber's, what I suspect to be a personal pharmacy. I mean, some people you just kind of look at and you just kind of look at them and roll your eyes like, dude, maybe 28 days is. So you, you got to have to have a heck of a cult of personality if you can scam millions from your audience for a pyramid scheme do kids not learn about pyramid schemes in school i don't know they're too busy learning about pronouns you should really be teaching them about a probably exponential notation compound interest pyramid schemes and cults and scams now here's the thing pain in high school we learned about pyramid schemes cults and scams here's the thing when they rolled out the uh, the tv and the vhs and you put on a video on how to avoid cults and some like pretty blonde girl will come talk to you it's like avoid all pretty blonde girls now here's the thing paying for a video game is fine you're buying entertainment there's a game out there it's got a good reputation you like the company you buy it it's not a big deal or even that the, the pay-to-play freeware games that I think they're looking for like whales in the Middle East to, to pay for the, some of this this payware type of ridiculous stuff but Logan Paul was selling a video game in quotes because it doesn't sound like a game you pay a hard currency which I suppose to be fair also has to be in quotes because I guess it's really central bank fiat currency which if it's not backed by tangible assets isn't really real it's sort of Rothschild's real, but anyway, you get my point. You can see Nixon in 1971 for that gold standard thing. So the game sold you a digital egg for your money that was supposed to hatch and create animals and hybrid animals, and perhaps they had adventures, and maybe you could trade them, and somehow, whatever, you had a game within that thing, and these would develop currency. So these video games would create currency, except nobody stops and asks, well, how exactly do these video game hybrid animal NFTs create actual cash? The only way to do that would be with a pyramid scheme, which is a juggling act where you take money in from investor suckers and you grow that geometrically. And when people get nervous and they want their money back, you pay them back, but the money going back is linear. And that math coming in is geometric. Linear is a straight line. Geometric is a curving line. And exponential is, I think, an ever-increasing curving line, if I remember my math right. I'm trying to say that you, you're getting more money is coming in and a small amount of money is going out. Eventually, it's like any type of bursting bubble. Like, what's the Holland, the flower th thing? It's like that's kind of an example of... The, the bursting blooming and bursting bubbles type of uh, panics the demand gets too big and there's an investor panic and the media gets a hold of it and you take your cayman island money and you just go hide out in south america build a villa somewhere and get some armed guards and, and you just wait for things to cool down but modern day scams are a whole different beast where you don't actually have to go hide in siberia you never have to leave the country you just stay and you fight the media war. Maybe you get sued civilly, you settle some stuff, and you have a, a rehab or redemption arc. But if you're clever, you can use the publicity to get an even bigger social media footprint as long as you don't get kicked off the primary platforms, which in the case of Logan Paul isn't likely because the platforms themselves are crooked. Modern-day American scams from Enron to Bernie Madoff to Sam Bankman-Fried, like there's no shortage of scams, right, are sort of only possible in a commercial zone country with nothing unifying it, like America. And if I said that 30 or 40 years ago, um, same guys, these like this, this guys would get in my face over that. And the same guys who would have gotten in my face over that 20, 30, 40 years ago are, are totally in, in agreement with me. We're all on the same page, no matter what part of the country you're from. You look around, it's like, yeah, this is just, this isn't anything anymore. It's like, you're not a, it's not a, it's not a Christian country. It's not a constitutional republic. They keep, when, um, when people use words, um, when, uh, when uh, everyone on the left keeps calling it a democracy, they're saying that for a reason. When they're calling a constitutional republic a democracy, that's all, they're all on board with that. It's like, you can tell a lot about, Somebody in Hollywood, whether they say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, it's just little tells like that. Um, so no, there's there's nothing like, what's, oh, it's Constitution Republic, we have the Constitution unifying us. Half the country hates the Constitution, wants to do away with it. So what's the next unifying? Oh, common shared culture, or common, nope. There's nothing unifying the America. It's literally just an economic zone. There's white pills out there in that you could take... Uh, take part of America and possibly Canada and reform a new nation from within. 
but um, you're not going to save the whole nation. So the uh, the left says it's and there's more on that on Odyssey and BitChute. The left says it's end stage capitalism. No argument from us except we call it end stage Weimar. It's a stage of looting the treasury, whether Nancy Pelosi being worth 150 million dollars stolen from you via a breach of her fiduciary duty of due care and trust to the people, or the money going to Ukraine, or in the private sector with Logan Paul in a Weimar commercial zone nation. You have more crooks than you have high trust people who still want to pretend to run a nation. It, I mean, the Constitution is just a piece of paper without the people who want to breathe life into it. Eventually, you reach a point where there are too many leaks in the dam. It's sort of game theory. If too many people are stealing and going unpunished, then if you continue to pay your taxes and not loot, you will relatively suffer financially. If the top end is cheating at taxes and insider trading, commingling, and the bottom end is looting and crime, all those costs of increased goods and inflation are just passed along to the high trust people who are paying for it. And also they're having low birth rates because of a media propaganda post-war campaign and a growing understanding that basically only a civil dissolution can redress this grievance. So the globalists are using this system to kill the golden goose that pays for it all and creates a high trust society. There's no solution for this within the current system. You can't mix high trust and low trust people. Otherwise, the whole system becomes low trust. If people like Nancy Pelosi or Logan Paul on the high end or Sam Bankman Freed or the people who benefited from him or the, and I got the, the Republicans got money, too. It's yeah, it's wings of the same bird. No argument for us or the looters on the low end and this, the, the street crime violence go unpunished, then you end up with a low-trust society, basically Brazil. No offense, but you can watch videos of crime over there where everyone is strapped, head on a swivel. That is the future for America. Except the difference is America that they want to, the left wants to remove the Second Amendment. So you literally have no defense against uh, street crime. Inflation continues. Wages decrease. Housing costs go up. People rightfully lose hope. And a national depression sets in as people look wistfully at the quality of life of their parents and grandparents and realize that every year the real quality of life on average decreases. The average person will not have the quality of life their grandparents had by many metrics, not just financial, but in terms of family structure extended tribal ethnic family, you are slowly just reduced to a cattle debt slave taxpayer fungible cog in the machine whose only goal in life is to pay inflationary taxes that fund Nancy Pelosi type slush funds, taxes that go purportedly to Ukraine but pass through many sticky fingers. Or, or God, they talk about this. They go, oh yeah, you're giving, you're giving taxpayer money to foreign countries. Like, oh, but they buy weapons from America. Well, how does that benefit the average American where well, you're like selling money for one terrorist group to delete another terrorist group's children. And so they notice that the, the, the weapons are coming from Stark Industries made in America. It's like, so then that's why they call America the great Satan. What if we didn't give taxpayer money to foreign countries? And, and what if those foreign, they didn't use American taxpayer money to fund wars in the Middle East? What if we just cut out all of that taxpayer money going, going for that kind of stuff? In fact, what if we re reduce taxes wildly? So we didn't, if you have money sufficient to give to foreign countries, then you're taking too much in taxes. That should be obvious to a nation that, you know, threw the tea in the harbor. That was a long time ago. Are we going to reach those days again? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you know, they say it's, it's hard to throw a revolution with well-fed men. So, or stuff like Obama giving taxpayer money to a publisher for scholastic, uh, uh, scholastic contracts. Then after he leaves office... They pay him $65 million for book deals. That's a circle, but the source of that all came from your taxes. No, the government should not pay you money back in woo flu checks. So you're paying the government, and then it's for the dollar you pay the government, it passes through several layers of bureaucracy. And this is just uh, entropy and enthalpy, the order of the universe. So you get back. 30% of the dollar you pay the government. The government should not be paying you back checks. They should just not be cut, taking that money in taxes in the first place. And you should simply be reducing the size of the government. That should be obvious. And that is obvious to a lot of people over about 30. Um, think about this. America has uh, open homeless tent cities. 
and the taxpayer dollars are going to foreign countries. Or Bankman Freed is out on bail while Madoff is locked up. None of this makes sense until it makes sense. Then you hit the brutal understanding that you're not going to vote your way out of tyranny. Sounds hyperbolic. Oh, some edgy 4chan posting. Give me a different interpretation of it. If you think, be careful in the comment section. But if you see a different path forward, let me know. If you can point to some stage in history, it's like, well, countries only last so long, you might as well be prepared for the dissolution of one system and the reformation of another system and make sure that you have, you know, structures in place to um, make sure you it goes in the direction you want it to go in. Anyway, <laughs> some editing on the fly. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to the subscribe star uh, people, and I will see you guys all next episode.